Hey guys, so Flavien Vidal here with uh, Magazaki Motor. So this time we have a 1990 four-wheel drive Suzuki Carry. So full disclosure with this car, it's going to be very cheap, probably around like 2,300 bucks or something landed in the US, in Canada, wherever you are in the world. Uh, there's a reason for that. So first and foremost, we got this truck for free. We didn't even pay anything, so we just like, like, that's why we can sell it for this cheap. Secondly, uh, this truck had a massive rust, uh, massive rust problem that we had to to work with and fix. So, so first because it's raining, that's why uh, I didn't bother on like trying to find a nice place, and also it's like really cheap, very much expendable um, K truck. Still, it's now in pretty good mechanical condition. All the big rust problems that the truck had uh, has been repaired. Uh, and well, so it's it's got a certain history, but it's it's and it's cheap, so you know. Anyway, so it has a 98,534 kilometer on the clock. That's really not much at all. Uh, well, it's a lot for a K truck. I mean, to do all this <laughs> distance. In a K truck, you, you really have to want it, but it's it's still uh, it's still not much uh, when compared to what people in Europe or in US drive with uh, with their their vehicles. So it had a bunch of rust repair. So let's go over it. Uh, first, the bed, as you can see here, like it's been uh, yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Uh, it might still uh, start again. You might want to do like a, a much a much better and deeper deeper repair that what was done by by us here. Um, same thing for uh, the rear of the bed. Uh, as you can see here, not exactly in great condition. Uh, like so, there's still of course some uh, like paint drips you know like here it's some rust here and there same goes for the, for the thing to block like uh, protection of impacts uh, the big rust problem that there was here was pretty massive so now it's well it's probably stuff it's, it's solid now this is really it's not gonna go shouldn't go any further uh, same thing, the worst, worst one of the entire truck, let me figure it out, was uh, here, this part, and it's the chassis, so that's uh, that's still fairly important, but there was like something like this big of a hole uh, because of, uh, of the rust. So not exactly great, but uh, it sh once again, it shouldn't go any further, so... Hopefully, uh, you you get uh, something that doesn't uh, get rust problem within the next two or three years, uh, and hopefully last uh, a lot longer after that. Uh, what else? Uh, well, like as you can see, like the body itself has some minor rust, like uh, rust marks, but nothing very deep. Uh, and the handles. Uh, the interior, the interior is decent. Uh, wouldn't consider it good or anything, but it's decent. Uh, now concerning, concerning the, the plastic and the dash, nice also. Same goes for the floor. Seat has one little hole there, but really, I mean, it's not much of a big deal. Uh, the yeah, visor, oh, okay, a bit noisy, but no big deal either. Roof is in good condition. Uh, oh yeah, more rust repair here. Here was pretty bad and pretty attacked. So, but then again, it's it's pretty solid right now, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, door panel is nice. Under the door, like you can see, st still some rust here. 
like a little bit visible there. Uh, other door, let's check it out. Here, yeah, a bit of like a dripping there. Uh, yeah, like minor, minor rust on this one. Uh, it does have the snow tire because hey, surprise, it was driven a lot in the snow. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as the tour. Like bed, well, please check the pictures because we have to remove this, so it's a bit annoying. So you can look on uh, on the picture for the condition of the bed. The car itself, like it starts, I'm gonna make sure that it's in neutral. Up, starts right away. Up, ah, almost right away. Okay, that's a failure. Sorry about that. <laughs> Battery is a bit okay. Battery is too weak, so I'm gonna have to jump start it. Uh, but uh, all right, well, we'll go back for a quick test drive of the car, and uh, well, we'll show you how it does. Till then, part two of the video. This time, like trying to restart it with now that the battery is plugged, we'll see how it does. Up. It hasn't been driven for a little while, so... Okay, idling is fine. So, yeah, as you can see it idles well. No... No big deal with the, the car itself. So, I'll be going back with... Uh, with a quick test drive within the garage, <laughs> like I did in the past. So, I'll be just driving there and all the way there and, and back and forth. And but that's gonna be it for it. Alright. Then. All right. So since the battery is dead, uh, I'm going to try to restart it again. Open. So don't feel in my seatbelt. We're just gonna stay here. So yeah, it's just so where's the reverse here? First time I drove it. Five speed. Five speed. Wow. Uh, and brake down. And I'm just going to do that. Shifts into four-wheel drive very well, genuinely well. So let's try to. I'm in four-wheel drive. Axle lock, all right. And same thing in reverse. Sadly, no, no big test drive, but considering how small our margin is on this, uh, because like, well, you know, 2000, like something bucks for a K truck landed in your country, you can guess that we are not making much money. <laughs> uh, so to get the plates for it, to do the test drive and everything, it's, it's extra money, it's an extra cost. And not 
some things that we can really do. So yeah, we decided to, to skip on that. So it's I think it's a good deal. Now you, you tell me if you, you're really afraid of the rust and if you think I shouldn't even bother selling it. But it's it's a good car for